cheeseburgers are like huge, huge favorite in this house. But new year, new you. Uh, no, we just want to give you an alternative. I've been watching like a ton of keto stuff on TikTok. One of my favorite pastimes to do. And I found out that you can pretty much put anything on lettuce as a bun, which I already knew. But I want to take it to a different level. And supposedly on keto, you can have cheesy, fatty, good stuff. So we're going to make a keto friendly burger. Uh, but we're going to use turkey, ground turkey. We got fresh herb, parmesan, a little bit of bacon fat that's left over for me. Cooking the bacon that's going to go. Going to make a turkey burger with bacon, avocado, uh, aioli, lettuce, tomato, monstrous, biting into it. So excited. So before we go anywhere, I guess we have to like form our patties because they're going to, I'm going to put them in the fridge to kind of set up a little bit. So I'm using, like I said, the Hidden Valley Ranch. I am using two cloves of garlic that I finely minced. I am using some fresh cilantro that I chopped up. I am doing one egg just to kind of help bind it together. I'm a little nervous. Some Parmesan cheese. This is around a half a cup. And then what do I need? I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. I need. I need a spoon. This is a little bit of the bacon fat, and I'm sorry, but it's just gonna make everything better and tasty, and I mean, you never waste bacon fat. You never waste bacon fat. It'll stay in your fridge forever. Save it, don't be surprised. You need it for home fries, turkey burgers, whatever. Save your bacon fat. So I'm gonna be girly and put gloves on. It's just easier. Everything's in here. I did fresh crack a little black pepper. I'm gonna start mixing it together. I'm gonna use an ice cream scooper to measure my patties. And the way I'm gonna do it is I sprayed a non-stick on my aluminum uh, wrapped sheet pan. I'm gonna scoop the burgers out and then flatten them. And I'm put them in the fridge to rest while we finish the rest of what needs to be made, which is gonna be the avocado, aioli, and the tomato kind of salad -y thing I wanna make to go on top. Um, turkey looking really good here. Let me get the gloves off and get an ice cream scooper and the trick with the ice cream scooper, spray the inside of it with a little nonstick and your meat will glide right on out. I'm not gonna skimp on the size of my turkey burgers. So we're going with a nice hearty portion. And here's my trick, let me pull it back. Look at that, I need to push the scoop and it goes out. Take your scooper on the back, push it down. It'll start to flatten it to be the most perfect patty, and it's even. See that? Do one more time for you. Magic trick, I just clean up the sides, use the edge of the side of the spoon, pop it down, comes out no problem, no meat left in the spoon. There we go. You can also make these ahead of time, wrap them in plastic wrap and throw them in the freezer. Just pull them out when you need in the summertime, throw them on the grill, but it's cold out. So we're gonna pan sear them in my cast iron. My sous chef came in and said, what can I help you with? So I'm gonna show him, we're gonna take the tomatoes, he's using a little knife, and he's cutting them in half, and then in half, so it's quarters. And we're going along with them, because we're gonna go on our sandwich. I'm gonna throw them in the bowl so that we can season them up with a little bit of red onion and some other stuff. So I'm gonna let him get cutting while I get the grill, well, our pan on it. We're gonna make like an aioli. Um, so I squeezed one fresh lemon. Make sure the seeds come out. My partner in crime left the seeds. She's a no-no. Um, mayo and Dijon mustard. And we're gonna put salt and pepper. And half an avocado. The other half of the avocado is gonna be sliced on top of our burger. But this half is just gonna be, it's not like the most perfect avocado, but it's okay to do. Um, this half will be spun, yep, spun into an aioli. And I'm gonna put some fresh ground pepper. And we're gonna get it blended. So the blender just stopped. You see how perfect and creamy. Um, ooh, it's good. Nice and tart, nice and creamy. 
Um, the beautiful thing about things like this is, you had a Tupperware container, store it. Music is sweet. Sandwiches, spreads, on the burger for dinner. Throw a little vinegar in there and make it a salad dressing. I mean, it's endless, but at the same time, if you have the right storage containers, you can keep this during the week and just enhance your food a little. On a wrap, add a butter on a case of uh, oil on a case of beer, butter on a grilled cheese. Do something like this. But I think it's gonna be amazing. I'm a burger. Cast iron top. I just took our turkey burgers out of the fridge. You can also freeze them. Um, hot cast iron, a little bit of oil. Now, the trick. Put it down. Give it a sizzle. Don't touch it. Put it down. Don't touch it. We're gonna go around five minutes each side, but the reason I'm using a cast iron when you're doing it inside is it keeps the heat and it cooks consistent. So don't touch it. Four minutes. See the difference? Now, flip it. Do not touch it again for another four minutes. I think you're learning my tricks, right? Four minutes. Don't touch. My burgers are done. Letting them rest. My bacon, my lettuce. I'm gonna use romaine as my cup, because I like crunchy. Um, our tomatoes are marinated. Olive oil, a little red wine vinegar, red onion, salt, and pepper. We have our avocado aioli, and we're gonna assemble. Now, don't hold back. If you want cheese, if you want pickles, if you want shredded lettuce with your romaine, however you want to assemble, I'm gonna get mine going right now. Now I'm assembling my turkey bacon ranch burger. Um, I, next time I will definitely put cheese, but there's my top bun. It's super keto friendly. I feel it's gonna be messy, so we need napkins. But you got that avocado sliced, avocado aioli, the tomatoes, the vinaigrette, the romaine, the crunch. Let's go in for the bite. I perceive this being messy. I'm okay with it. I just, and everything I see online that's keto is always messy, but. Oh good. Um, give me a napkin. Someone give me a napkin. Okay. I'm embarrassing myself there. Um, so moist, the turkey burger, and so full of flavor with that ranch seasoning. Thank you. Um, kind of need a fork with it. I love that the, the lettuce is giving such a nice crunch. It's good, really good.